Good morning, you guys, all the way from Big Island. My family and I decided to take a little mini vacation over here. We've never been here before, so we're doing a few days here, and it has been really busy 24 hours. This is actually our second day here, but I just have not had a chance to actually like talk to the camera at all, except for maybe a few seconds, but I've just been recording everything. This island is so beautiful. We are actually staying on Hilo side, which reminds me a lot of the windward side of Oahu, like Kaneohe, it's very lush, very green, and just so beautiful. Like I was saying, we flew in early yesterday and we just spent the day exploring. We went and saw a couple waterfalls and it had rained all day yesterday. There was a little bit of remnants from, I think it was Hurricane Fernando, which wasn't even a hurricane by the time it got here. It was like a tropical storm, even if that. And so it was raining a lot yesterday, but because of that, the waterfalls were insane and just like very strong and wild. And I don't think I've ever seen a waterfall that crazy before, even being from Oregon. I don't know if I've seen one that big and just that flowing. So it was just like really cool to experience. We got very, very wet, but it was just a fun experience. And our daughter 
loved it. She was such a trooper yesterday. We're actually staying more towards the Volcano National Park. We're staying on a military camp, which is actually pretty nice. We rented out one of their cabins and it's so cute and cozy in here. They have a fireplace back there, which it was really cold last night, by the way. I was, I was freezing from the rain. I, I never expected Hawaii to get this cold, but it was very, very cold. Wish I would have brought a little bit more layers, but it's amazing because today it's actually the storm has passed. So it's beautiful and sunny outside. It's clear blue skies. I opened the front door this morning and the sun just came in and it felt so warm and <laughs> nice hitting my skin compared to yesterday. But I'm wondering if it's maybe gonna get a little cold again tonight. So we did get like a fire log and we might do a fire tonight and watch a movie. So I'm really excited about that. But for today's adventure, we're actually, cause we're staying up by the National Park, the Volcano National Park, we're going to head in there. We haven't seen that yet. I don't think there's any volcanoes or any activity going on, but it'd still be cool to like walk around in there and do some little small hikes and whatnot. It's beautiful. It's so cute. It's very more small town vibes compared to Kona, which we haven't been to yet. And we won't do on this trip just because we're here for a few days. Generally, if you want to explore all of Big Island because it is so big, you don't want to like spend a week here, but we're only doing a couple days. Dagan is just getting our daughter ready and then we're going to pack up the car and get going. And I am so excited to explore an adventure. By the way, she did amazing on the plane. Yesterday was her first plane ride and she did phenomenal. I was the one that was so worried about her the whole time and like worrying how she was going to be, but actually she fell asleep before takeoff. So it was, it was really great. But yeah, she's been such a trooper and it's so much fun being able to take these trips with her and have these memories and just get her out and explore. This is definitely like what I envisioned and what we've always wanted to do with her. So it's exciting. Yeah. So we are back home now and I've just been spending the last couple days going through all of the footage that I took while we were in Hilo. I took so much footage on my camera and on my phone and just been piecing together a vlog to put up and I'm just looking back at all the footage and being like wow that was such a beautiful trip. There was so many just like amazing things. Big Island in and of itself is <laughs> big and magnificent. There's just so much to see. We did two nights, three days there. I feel like we could have done longer actually. And there was a couple things I didn't get to do, but I, we were originally going to only do 
one night and two days and I'm glad we ended up extending our trip a little bit longer because I don't think we would have been able to even do as much as we did this time. There is a lot of driving when you're on Big Island just because everything is so spaced out but gosh it was it was just so amazing. The waterfalls are amazing and just all the tropical lush scenery that we got to experience and going through the Volcano National Park which was so cool and doing the hikes and everything and got myself a little t-shirt. I'm not somebody that ever buys souvenirs or t-shirts or anything like that but I was like I don't know if we're ever going to make it back over there while we're here so I might as well just get something while we're there but yeah it was just it was just an amazing time and getting to see everything and try yummy foods oh my gosh I think I had the best poke bowl of my entire life if you guys are ever in Hilo uh go get poke at Sui Sun it was amazing the fish was so fresh melt in your mouth kind it, it was amazing. So I'm going to be dreaming about the Poke Bowl forever. It was, it was hands down the best I've ever had. But yeah, so I just wanted to close out this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this little travel vlog that we have. We're definitely already talking about wanting to go back, but go to Kona side and even try a couple more islands before we leave here because it's just so easy to highland hop and we just want to be able to take advantage while we're here and experience everything. So yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.